Welcome, welcome to Armchair Based Yoga, brought to you from Soup to Tomatoes um, and instructed by me, Renee Dujardin, a registered nurse and personal trainer, as well as a yoga certified instructor. So welcome. And um, we've been working on our footwork all week, right? So in our good posture with our joints stacked, so knees over ankles, hips and shoulders aligned, chin tucked in so we can be as tall as possible. So not really tucked in here where we're getting this um, curling of the neck, but here so that we're bringing it into our bodies because most of us are like here. So we kind of want to bring it in. All right. So from that nice tall position, shoulders are back, chest is out, chin is in. We're just going to begin to lift our heels off the ground. And exhale, lift our toes off the ground. Let's get make sure our feet are in the right position. So onto our toes and then into our heels. Inhale, exhale. Let's do a few more. Good. This is just so we can begin to feel our feet actually. So let's press them into the floor, into our shoes. Take a deep breath as we roll our shoulders back and reach towards the earth. And just take a few deep breaths, relaxing our face, getting as tall as we can. Inhaling through the nose and exhaling through the nose. And one more deeper, slower breath, taking all of our awareness and putting it into the breath. So feel it, hear it. Now let's begin with a little mountain flow. So we're going to inhale, reach up. Oh, fantastic, a fire alarm. How peaceful is that? <laughs> So is life, right? So let's use this as, you know, one of life's distractions. And regardless of life's distractions, we can choose what we focus on, right? So let's focus on reaching, pressing the hands together, exhaling down as we roll our shoulders down and back. We're going to do five more of these, five more. Big deep breaths. Mountain flow is a great opportunity to warm up. And of course, if your breath is slightly slower than mine, please go with your own breath. Go a little slower, a little faster. Whatever suits your body. Let's reach up. Let's enjoy two more. Two more. Bigger, deeper breaths. Notice where you feel it, feel the body, hear what it's telling you. Good. So pressing into our feet, sitting tall on our sit bones, we're going to add moon arms. So we're going to inhale up, pressing the palms together, and then taking the elbows out wide, squeezing the shoulder blades down and back. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, return to mountain. Oh, you guys are good at this one now, yes? Inhale, reach. Good, now you can really focus on squeezing the shoulder blades, yes, and opening the chest. Inhaling, reaching up. Exhaling, returning, returning. Let's do it again. Inhale, reach through the fingers, taller. Lengthening. Exhaling, squeezing and opening. Inhaling, reaching. Exhaling, release. And we'll enjoy two more, two more. We're just getting those shoulders warmed up now. Exhale, squeeze. Add to spread those fingers. Inhale, reach. Exhale, return. Let's do one more, one more. Inhale, reach. Exhale, moon arms, 
squeezing our shoulder blades, really important move. Inhale, reach. Exhale, return. Good job, good job. So from here, we're going to do three forward fold flows. That's a lot to say. But we're going to start in our mountain pose, pulling our abdominals in, reaching towards the earth. We take a deep breath here, relaxing our face. Rolling the shoulders back. On the next inhale, we're going to reach up. Inhaling up. Exhaling forward fold. And we want to bring our rib cage towards our thighs, relaxing our head and neck here. Inhale up to a neutral spine. Exhale deeper forward fold. Inhale reverse swan dive back up. All the way back, returning to our mountain pose. <laughs> it's close, it's close. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, swan dive down, pressing the chest down. You can probably feel the stretch here, relaxing the head and neck by nodding it from side to side. Inhale to a neutral spine, just the shoulders back, the chest out. Exhale, deeper forward fold. Inhale, return, swan dive back up. Good. And then we return to our mountain pose. So we, we want to go nice and slow. We're going to do it one more time, nice and slow. Each part is important. Here we stretch our backs, right, reaching up. Exhale, we stretch a different part of our backs and begin to stretch our chest as we reach the fingertips out. And then the back gets a stretch at the bottom here, as well as our neck, as we let our neck relax down. We inhale up to a neutral spine, working our spine or erectors. That's it. Exhale, deeper forward fold, so we go back down. Inhale, take your arms out wide and reverse swan dive back up. Good. And that's it. That's Forward fold flow. Good, good. So from here, we're going to hold our hands together and then bring our feet all the way in. We're going to do two moves with our feet together. So shoulders back, chest out, squeeze the inner thighs. Exhale over. Inhale, tall. Exhale over, squeezing the inner thighs. Inhale. So now let's add open wings. So big deep breath. Exhale over. Inhale, stretch open. Exhale, return the hands to the heart center. Inhale, return tall. Exhale over to the other side. Inhale, open the arms. Exhale, return. Inhale, tall. Doesn't that feel good? Exhale. Inhale, open yourself up. Exhale, return to the heart center. Inhale, back up. One more time. Exhale. Inhale, open wings. Exhale, return. Inhale. So another position that's uh, nice with the legs together is crescent moon. So we're going to do it with one arm today. So shoulders back, chest out. We inhale, arms up. Exhale, one arm down. And then over gently. Yep. Inhale, back up. Exhale, over, down and up. Inhale, up. Exhale, release down to mountain. Crescent moon series. Yeah? Fine, right? Let's do it again. Inhale, reach. Exhale, one arm down and over. That's it. Inhale. Really press into that opposite hip, right? That's where you feel the stretch. Inhale up. Exhale, release down. Let's do it one more time, shall we? Inhale and reach. Exhale, one side down and over, reaching over, feeling that side stretch, opening the chest. Inhale, come up. Doesn't that feel good? Exhale, over. Notice what feels good about it. Inhale, up. Exhale, return. Good job, good job. From here, we're going to hold our 
hands, press them together, maybe even turn them upside down and take a deep breath to feel our palms, feel our wrists. Inhale, we turn them back up and widen your stance. So I find that if I go too wide, uh, my hip doesn't really enjoy that, especially on this side. So only go as wide as you feel comfortable going, where you can keep yourself tall and you feel comfortable in your body. All right, really important. So let's stretch those arms out. We're gonna do sunflower today. So it's a harder position. We're gonna scoop up the sky, and then exhale, we swan dive down. So we, we only go where we feel we can. And then we come back up with big wide arms. Inhaling up, scooping up the sky, getting taller, lengthening. Exhaling, swan dive down, and scoop the earth. Inhale, reach back up. This is a lot of work, right? So if you need a little help, you can use your legs to push yourself back up or don't go as far. Two more, two more. Inhale up. Good job. Exhale, swan dive down. Inhale, come on up. And let's bring the hands to the heart center once again. Now, if we scooch towards the uh, tip of our chair, and we keep our legs here, but we straighten one out, and we just press it into the ground. This is warrior two, isn't it? Right? Same thing. So why don't we go into warrior two? So if our arms are extended, one leg is straight and stretched out, the other leg is our primary leg. So here we are, warrior two, just at it from a different, thing, a different way. So let's inhale here, and exhale, go down the straight leg, and reach up. Let's do that again. Inhale, tall. Exhale, down the straight leg, and reach up for reverse warrior. Notice where you feel the stretch. Three more like that. Yeah, you got it. And then one, two more. That looks good. And then one more. Good. So I'm going to be a little tricky today. We're going to take a deep breath and reach forward towards that front leg. And then rest the leg, the elbow down. Reach up here. Take a deep breath in. Exhale over your head. Almost like you want to stretch past that toe through the fingers inhale up exhale over this is called side angle and then one more inhale up exhale over beautiful beautiful inhale up now it's about to get pretty intense here so we're going to bring our arm and bring it behind our chest try to bring the elbow in tight from here we try to open up the chest. Take a deep breath. You do not have to look up. You can look forward or down, whatever's comfortable. But try to open that shoulder up. Open the chest. One more deep breath. Good. And then reach up. And then come back to the original position. Good. Let's rest our arms down. We're going to bring the other leg in so that the knee is over the ankle and stretch the other leg out straight so that the whole foot is pressed into the floor, wherever that is, right? doesn't really matter as long as this knee is over this ankle. We reach out and all of a sudden we are in warrior two on the other side. We take a deep breath here and then exhale, reach and slide down the back leg. And then do it again. Inhale. Exhale. Reach up and slide down the back leg. Good. Three more like that. That looks fantastic, by the way. And two more. That looks really good. Isn't it a better way, in a way, to get into Warrior Two? All of a sudden, it makes a little more sense what we're trying to do with it. Eh? It looks good. It looks good. Inhale, come up to Warrior Two. 
Take a deep breath here, shoulders back, chest out, stretch forward and relax your arm down on this knee. Inhale, reach up to the ceiling. Exhale, reach overhead. Try to get as far over as you can. You can look under the arm, look down or look straight ahead, your choice. Inhale up to the ceiling. Exhale, overhead. That's it. Inhale up. Exhale, overhead. Side angle pose. One more. Inhale up. Exhale, overhead. Inhale up, reach. And then you're going to bring that arm and bring it in behind you slowly. Begin to open up the chest and roll the shoulder back if you can. You can look up at the ceiling, look straight ahead, or look down. This one's called bound angle. One more deep breath. Inhale, reach up when you're ready, and come all the way up. Very good, very good. Woo! That's some intense poses, those bound angles, right? So good job, good job. <coughs> We'll return to our mountain pose. We're going into spinal balance next. So feel free to uh, lean back if you need a little bit more support for your back, especially since we just worked a whole bunch of muscles. So take a few deep breaths here. And just let go of everything. Just feel your body in this chair, in this moment, in this breath. One more deeper, slower breath. Let's inhale both arms into our side, keeping them tight and kind of set in position. Then we take one foot out, pressing the heel out, and the opposite arm reaching. Taking a deep breath here, we can lift the leg for a little harder work. Exhale, the leg down, the arm down. Inhale, the other side up. So we're doing opposite arm and leg. It's important for the brain. Exhale, bring it back in. Let's do it again. Inhale, reach through the heel, through the fingers. Exhale, return. Inhale, reach. Exhale, return. Now, are we really feeling it? Do we need to lift that leg a little higher? Reach through the fingers. Feel the core engage here. It's such a beautiful move, isn't it? Are we enjoying it fully? Reach. Exhale down. Inhale, reach. Hold it here. One deep breath. Oh, is it opposite arm and leg? Take a look, because you'll need to have it because you're coming in. Exhale, crunch. Inhale, reach. Exhale, crunch. Inhale, reach. Three more. Notice where you feel it. Notice the strength on this last one and smile at how wonderful that is. Inhale, reach. Exhale, release. Realign your body. So if you need to scooch back, find a good position. Now take other side now, lift and lift, hold for one deep breath, feeling the full extent of this beautiful stretch. And then exhale, crunch in, inhale and stretch. That's it. Exhale, crunch in, inhale and enjoy. Through the hand, through the heel, Feel it. Two more to enjoy. Big deep breaths. And one more, one more. Inhale, reach. And exhale, lower. Good job. And again, you may have to realign to, um, to just be uh, back to a nice neutral position. So we're going to do one now. It's a deeper stretch called happy baby. And normally we do it laying down on our backs. 
Well, you could just as well do it seated. So you want to have your feet a little wider than hip width apart, but not quite as wide as our wide squats. Then you take your hands and go from inside your leg, or you could just be here if you like, but try to keep the knees over the ankles and just let your body settle in between your legs and then relax your head. If you can walk your hands further back, then please do so and notice if there's any tightness at all. I like to wrap my arms around my legs and I feel a deeper stretch when I do that. And really nod your head from side to side and make fully sure that it's nice and relaxed. Take one more deeper breath here. Now put your hands on your thighs so that your elbows are on either side of you and press yourself up just like we would. Yeah, isn't that nice when you press yourself up like that? So bring your feet back in. Now we're going to do a few hip stretches. So we're going to be with cradling the baby. So this is our baby here. So you grab your foot and your knee and you just rock them. So for anybody out there that suffers with hip issues, this may be as far as you can take it today, and that's all right. But ideally, you want to get that leg closer and closer to your body. But you see where you could go. Now, two options. You can put the leg down, or you can place it in figure four. Yes? You decide. You decide. In figure four, we have the top foot flexed. We take a big, deep breath and we press the chest forward. Good. So you will notice your hip talking to you almost immediately. Take a big deep breath here, press the chest forward. And then one more. And then inhale up. Since you're here already, bring that leg in and give it a hug with the opposite hand so that you look over the shoulder of the leg that's up. Good. And now really give it a good hug so you stretch your IT band. So big deep breath here. Feels really good if you can get the leg up there. Good. And then release. Put the leg back down. Good job, good job. Let's cradle the baby on the other side, shall we? So like I said, you, you may start here because, you know, maybe your body, the way it's fashioned, you have to start further away or it's just really tight and this is where you can take it. But the closer you get, the better, the more you'll feel the stretch. Yeah. And then you can put the leg down or you can put it in a figure four position. Just flex the top foot. Try to relax the knee down. Take a deep breath here and press the chest forward. Yeah, you will feel that immediately in your hip. So tuck the chin in, take a deep breath, press the chest forward. And maybe you even sit like this sometimes. Press the chest forward. But probably mostly on one side. And then come on up. Give that leg a hug if you can with the opposite arm. So if it's your right leg, you're hugging with the left arm and you're looking over the same shoulder as the leg you have up. Good. Hugging the leg close, you should feel the side hip here. So this is the IT band talking to you. One more deep breath here. Good. So good job, good job. We haven't talked a whole lot about foot stretches, right? We haven't. So one way to stretch your feet is you can point them and retract them so that when they're pointed, they're stretching the top. When they're retracted, they're stretching the calf. And the same can be said for the other side, you know, point, retract. That's the most passive way, right? So the, another way is in that figure four position, if you can get there, you can pull gently the toes down and then pull the toes up gently. 
and then you are doing the stretch manually, right? So let's try that again. Pull the toes gently down so the top of the foot is flat, and then up. Also, another way is if you sit on your feet, right? That's another way to stretch your feet. So let's put that down. Let's do the other one if we can. If not, you can repeat the first version, pointing the toe and retracting it. It's the same. We're just manually doing it. And then up, flexing the heel. So that gives the calf a gentle stretch. And then the tibial muscle get a stretch here as we pull the toes down. And then calf gets a stretch here. Doesn't that feel nice? Kind of a passive stretch, pretty gentle, if you can get into figure four. So that's the only, uh, the only issue with that one. But good job, good job. So the best part of yoga, if you ask just about any practitioner of yoga, is savasana, which is final relaxation. So we, we begin, a good way to begin a final relaxation is just to close our eyes and take a few deep breaths. If you feel like you need to take a drink or um, put on a little sweater or get more comfortable, please do so. And imagine every breath we take, we begin to notice relaxation spreading throughout our bodies. Almost like it's moving its way up. So let's imagine the relaxation is in the bottom of our feet right now. And as we take a few deep breaths, it works its way up to our ankles. The relaxation is slowly making its way up our legs, past our knees and thighs, into our hips. a few more deep breaths, you can notice our backs resting, our shoulders, our chest. Let's notice our arms our hands. Let us notice them resting there for a moment. Take a big deep breath and begin to notice your neck and face, all the muscles around your eyes completely rest. Take a deeper breath. Regardless of the different sounds we might hear around us. We can always bring it back to a deeper breath. Let's take a few deeper breaths. And just make sure that all of our body is relaxing. All of our body is resting. All of our bodies are at peace. Let's take that peace with us, that relaxation with us, 
as we feel our feet come alive, our legs, our torso, our arms, our faces, and most of all, our minds. So thank you so much for practicing yoga with me. I am always grateful for each and every one of you. And remember, yoga is never about being completely perfect, but just about practicing to get a little bit better. So namaste to each and every one of you. Thank you. <laughs> Have a great day.